What's up guys? Justin here from TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Lumion tutorial for you. So um, the other day I was looking at Lumion's website and uh, more specifically their blog and I came across a scene showing kind of a chair with a furry blanket um, draped across it. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to try to recreate that scene using SketchUp. I just wanted to see if I could do it and I figured I'd walk you through the process. So um, let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I guess we could start off and look a little closer at this scene. So this is an example scene from Lumion 9, and I just wanted to kind of recreate it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of look at some of the elements that are shown in here, like this blanket on the chair, and the table, and other things like that. And so it's a very simple scene when we look at it. There's kind of a rug on the floor, there's a blanket on this chair, and then there's just a table with some flowers and stuff like that. So we're going to do kind of a similar scene. It's not going to be exactly the same, but it'll get us close. And so what I've done is I've already modeled it in inside of SketchUp, and I don't want to get too in-depth about this right now. Um, we can definitely talk more about this if you guys are interested in how I modeled this, but for right now, all you really need to know is that I've set this outside wall and the roof on their own layer so I can turn them on and off and edit this, and then I've just come in here and I've just created a very simple scene. So I downloaded the chair from the 3D warehouse. Um, this cloth draped across this, this is actually a cloth that I created using the extension Clothworks, and I can link to an extent. Uh, a video about how to use that extension in the notes down below and then um I've also got some drapes in here, and the only the only thing that I did with the drapes is I just created a curving path, and then I used extrude tools to extrude this up in order to create this shape. So I also have a window right here, and I may I also have a window in the outside wall over here. So that's really all there is to this scene. I'm literally just trying to recreate the lighting coming through this big window. And we may actually have to add something else on the outside of this, but uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Lumion Live Sync. So I'm just gonna right click, I'm gonna go to Live Sync, and I'm gonna go ahead and click the play button. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click the play button to send this over to Lumion. And it's gonna ask if I wanna start this, I'm gonna say yes, and it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna start up Lumion. And so we're just gonna let it load for a second. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and we're going to select a template file. Um, I'm going to select the plane. You could also select the white. Um, but I'm just going to select the plane, and this will just kind of drop this in on that location. And so you can see how what that does is that goes ahead and that starts a new Lumion rendering. So you can see how as I fly around, you can see inside this building. So we can go ahead and get started with this. And so one thing I might recommend is going into SketchUp and turning off camera synchronization because I found that makes my computer run a bit slow. Um, so you don't want this trying to update its camera if you go in and make a change in SketchUp. And so what I'm going to do in this case is I'm actually just going to fly into this building and I'm just going to look around. And you can see how it's very simple. And all I've really done is I've just added some materials in here. And so like we always do in a Lumion rendering, what we need to do is we need to come in here and adjust some materials. Materials. And so what I'm going to do in this case to do that is I'm just going to go over and click on the materials button. And that's going to bring me into my materials editor. And one thing you're going to notice that's going to be really important is that for everything that I wanted to change the material, I've applied a different kind of material inside of SketchUp. So you can see how this wallpaper is in here applied to this. It doesn't really matter because we're going to replace them with Lumion materials. But what we want to start off doing is I want to go ahead and start off and start replacing the uh, carpet as well as this suede color with a fur material. And so we're just going to click on those and we're going to go into nature. We're going to click the button for fur. And in this case, we'll go ahead and we can put like a, we'll go ahead and put the brown fur on the ground. Let's not make it too close to a uh, Let's not make it too close to the Lumion rendering. We'll make it a little bit different. So we've placed this brown fur on the ground. And if you remember in Lumion 9, you can adjust things like the fur length, as well as the size of the different fur pieces, the gravity force. So go through and adjust this until uh, it kind of looks the way that you want it to look. So you can adjust the scale of the velvet, all those different things. And then do the same thing with your green blanket in here. I'm just gonna go in, I'm just gonna replace this. In this case, I'm gonna use the black and white fur. So you can see how when I replace this with the black and white fur, it applies this really well, even though over in SketchUp, all that really is is just a flat plane. So the plane doesn't need to have any thickness in order for this to work. And then I'm also gonna go through and I'm gonna replace uh, the wood material 
And there's not a lot of wood panelings in here, so just try to find something that looks a little bit more like a wood panel instead of a wood floor. So especially if we're going to get close up on this, you don't really want all these extra lines in here. You might even consider going to the um, like the outdoor wood materials. I think there's a wood in here that looks pretty good from that standpoint. So maybe this one right here will work as well. So we're just going to replace that wood material here. And then we're also going to swap out um, for my walls, I'm going to make these kind of a plaster drywall material. Oof. And I want to find one that isn't too over the top. That's pretty good. I think we'll go ahead and go with that one. And then we're also going to swap out our, uh, our drapes. And so you can come in here and there's two different ways you could approach this because there's a curtain setting and you can either select a curtain like this one that you can see has very trans transparent or translucent. Um, so in this case, you can see I could select like this curtain zero three. I kind of like on these edges to go to the end and select one of these poly polygon materials like the modern ones because um, I actually don't like having that much light coming through on those just just because it's going to mess up the way that our scene works so i'm going to select a couple of these that aren't really super trans um uh, super translucent uh, maybe something like i kind of like this last one right here and so if you want right now what you can do is you can run kind of a preview render to see what your lighting and material are going to look like um, or you know what let's go ahead and just start adding things into our scene so we need to add a few different things into this scene so in this case i'm going to go ahead and click the save changes button and i'm just going to bring a couple different lumion objects in so i'm going to click on this button for objects and then i'm going to go into place mode and in this case i'm going to look for um, some kind of a coffee table that I can put in here and you could either go with like a glass table like this one or maybe a wood table so something like this so just kind of select the table that you like it's kind of a personal preference thing so in this case I'm gonna bring this table in right here remember you can hold the R key to rotate this so I'm gonna rotate this to the right and then click in order to place it. And then I'm also gonna come in here and I'm gonna scale this up just a little bit to make it a little bit bigger. Um, it doesn't need to be a lot bigger. And so now the only other thing we need to do, and I'll probably speed up this part of the video, is we need to add some books to this shelf and we also need to add a couple things to this table um, to make this look a little bit more lived in so that your scene doesn't look super empty. All right, so that's going to look pretty good. That's going to look a little bit lived in. Um, I might add another thing or two to this table, but overall, just kind of looking at this view in general, there's some different books in here, and uh, maybe I would move this set of books somewhere over here so that it doesn't look quite as uniform, but we're just trying to make this space look a little bit lived in. And so this will get us pretty close to the, the result that we're looking for. Um, if you remember the, the shot from Lumion itself um, was kind of a lower view looking up at this window. And so what I wanna do now is I wanna go ahead and click over into photo mode. And so now in photo mode, we're gonna use a number of different settings. So in this case, we could click on a custom style and do like an interior style if we wanted to. And so what that would do is that would bring in some different things and make this look fairly good. Um, in this case, probably what I would do is I would bring in either a real sky or the sun. So you could bring in a sun setting and you can kind of adjust this slider until the sun comes in um, and you can kind of see it the way that you want to see it. So it's really easy to use these presets to set something like this up. Probably in this case, I'm going to save this and I'm just going to run this real quick to see what it's going to look like. I'm going to kind of rotate or move over just a little bit. Um, so one thing you might think about when you do this is you might think about um, adjusting your focal length. And remember that actually focusing on something like this chair or something like that might be a little bit more realistic. It might give you a little bit better image. So in this case, I'm a little bit out of time, but a lot of the time what you'd want to do is you'd want to tell a little bit of a story with this image. So, you know, I might like to have a cup of coffee here and some books or something like that. But for right now, we'll go ahead and run a test render to see what this is going to look like. 
And so overall, I feel like this image looks pretty good. Um, I might like to have my chair a little bit further over here, but one thing I really don't like about this that I kind of want to add is I want to do kind of a color correction, and I want to change the tint of this image because it's very yellow, and I don't like it being super yellow like this. So in fact, not necessarily the tint as much as the temperature. So you can see how as I adjust this temperature down, this gives me more blues in this image, and I really like that a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and um, you know there's a few other things we could do as well we could you know you might get a little bit closer in here to this chair um, so kind of play around with your composition in here and what you can kind of a uh... so we'll go ahead and render out this image and you can see how this actually gives us a really nice result. I really like the sun coming across here and the fur. You might consider making this a little bit longer, but you can see how creating realistic images like this is really easy using Lumion settings. And so the one other thing I might try is I might try removing the sun effect and actually adding one of the real skies. I actually found that the real skies cast a really realistic light through your window. And you can see how I kind of like the way, if I adjust the setting to right here, the way that the lighting comes across this, um, lighting that comes across this shade. So I kind of like adjusting the way the lighting comes across this shade. And you can fool around with your brightness a little bit too. Just kinda, There's no right or wrong way to do this. You just need to have an idea of the image that you're trying to create in your head. And then just adjust settings until you get that look. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the render photo button one more time. We're going to go ahead and render this. And you can see how that real sky really gives you that realistic light coming in here. It's a little brighter than I would like, but we're going to go ahead and go with this for the sake of this video. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Do you like it when I kind of go start to finish with how I set up a scene like this? Um, in the next video, I'd like to go a little more in depth in the settings, but hopefully you liked what I was able to put together here. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.